Hi all, this is Abhay Mahajan and I welcome you all to the series called United by Mathematics wherein we discuss some elegant problems of mathematics related to different Olympiads across different countries. So this one is from Singapore 2008 Junior Mathematics Olympiad and this involves a chessboard. Right, so the question says if a knight on a chessboard starts from the position as shown, find the possible number of landing positions of the knight after 20 consecutive moves. You can thank me later for improving your chess moves, but the answer is a knight can land into any position of the chessboard within 20 moves. In fact, four moves are enough for the knight in this position to land into any other position on the chessboard. And we'll prove this. Let us see how. So let white dot represent the position of the knight after the first move. And let us Note down all the possible landing positions of the knight after the second moves. So in fact, apart from these four squares, it will cover all the black squares. It will cover all the black squares. It will cover this, it will cover this, it will be covering this, it will cover 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 this. It will be covering this, it will be covering this, this will be covered, this will be covered, this will also be covered, this will be covered, apart from the corner one. This will be covered, this will also be covered. What else? Right. So this will be covered as well. This will be covered. This will be covered. This will be covered. Right, so we have these four squares left, which are adjacent uh, squares to these uh, positions. These four squares are left, apart from the corner one, where of course, uh, this will not be able to go that far. This will be covered as well. So all the black squares have been covered apart from the five black squares. So one, okay, this will be covered again. So one, two, this will be covered. So one, two, three, four, and this is the fifth one, fifth black square, which has not been covered after the second move. Let us see what happens after the third move. So how many squares, how many squares will the knight cover after the third move? So the claim is it will cover all the white squares left. All the white squares will be covered. All the white squares will be covered after the third move. And you can verify this. You can check this. You can check this. So it will cover all the white squares after the third move. And fourth move, it will cover the remaining, it will cover the remaining black squares. So this will be covered from this position. This will be covered from this position. This will be covered. Okay, so this will be covered from this position. This will be covered from this position and this will also be covered. Again, we missed, I think, one white square which will be covered in the third round. So this would be covered and this would also be covered. And this of course can be covered, this can be covered after what? After the second move. The central would be covered after the second move. So we can see that in four moves, all the squares on the chessboard have been covered. So the possible landing positions after 20 moves. So the possible landing positions after 20 moves, the only thing I have to take care is after every move, the color changes. So initially, the knight was at black square. After first move, the only position can be white. Second move, it changes back to black. Third, it changes back to white again. Fourth, again black. So if it starts from the black, after 20 moves, it can cover all the black squares. And total number of black squares is, of course, 64 divided by 2. So there are 32 possible landing positions of the knight after 20 consecutive moves. I hope you've understood the question. Take care. God bless.